Hi everyone, welcome to my Shoreline studio. I'm Sybil Muschik. I'm so glad you joined me today. We're working with cats. The Pet Safe Coalition here, uh, which is a, a good group that takes care of feral cats. And they uh, spay and neuter them, they capture them, and uh, they go to the vet and get cared for. So they're not out uh, in, you know, really cold, freezing weather and they're taken care of. And of course, uh, wild cats often decimate the bird population, so it's good on many levels. So we have a couple of nice kitties here in black and white. And uh, we're going to do a transfer on our gel plate and uh, I'll take you through our usual supplies. I'm using the Amsterdam acrylics and uh, we'll start with black. Uh, in the next part we will be doing a little bit of stenciling and my uh, Baren and Brayer and uh, a little palette for putting extra paint on. Before we print, I just want to mention I've run this through the laser printer twice. Now some really bright person on uh, the gelatin printing enthusiast has talked about this and it really is a better way to get a transfer. So here this one is, uh, I'll just show you how nice and dark it is. So in our cute little feral cats. And we're going to ink the plate. And you need just enough paint to transfer the image. So not too thick, but not too thin either. If it's too thin, nothing will come off. If it's too thick, sort of a fine line. Through experience, uh, you'll get that. And I know some people have done it multiple times and never had any success, but I've been lucky. And I just use my Baron to make sure there's contact. But don't leave it on too long or it all comes off again. And there we are. See the difference that the extra ink makes? So we'll just get rid of that. So now we're at the stage where we're going to let it dry really well. And then we'll put the next layer on and we're going to be working with my little paw print stencil. And we're just going to be uh, daubing the uh, paint on here for on the next layer. So our cats have dried quite a bit and uh, I think they're about good to go. I'm just going to start stenciling some paw prints. This is an Anayaki stencil. And just take a little bit and then pounce it. And we we'll just put some here and there. bunch of them here. I'm using, uh, what's this color? Good question. Naples yellow red. <laughs> nice color. So just a little bit of pizzazz in the background there. And then we'll let that dry. So those ones are dry already. 
and now we're going to go to the next step and we're going to mix the color to um, reactivate this layer of paint to the black that that transfer that we did and now the little paw prints so we're going to take some uh, oh I can never find the names of these things it's really oh warm gray fine <laughs> And we already have that color. Maybe add a little bit of white to that. At least another that color. I don't think it has a different white name. Does it have a different white name? I can't find it. Anyway. So we mix that up a little bit. And this is a layer where you don't, you, you've got to have it transparent. And you want that layer to pick up everything. Too thick and you won't do it too thin and it won't do it. So there is a fine line. I'll just hope for the best. Mr. Garbuni has been super active today already. <laughs> so we'll... I'm just um, inking up my brayer and if we're really lucky we'll get it just right on here. And again work fast, the stuff dries quickly. Now is it transparent enough? No, there's a thingy there. A fuzzle. So I can see the layer underneath. We'll brayer off that in a minute. This has got to be fast. Oh, the big reveal. Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, let's hope for the best or we're going to have to do it all over again. <clears throat> So far, so good. And there we go, complete with paw prints. And we'll just take it off the tape here. And we'll show it quickly. I don't know if you can see all of it in the camera. So there's our cute little kitties with a few paw prints at the top and the transfer worked really well. Phew! <laughs> I'm happy about that. So I have a sheet here of uh, the general information for the care of a feral cat colony. So we're going to use that as a base and we'll do the blue. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> We're going through this again. <laughs> okay, all right, it says Brilliant Blue. I'm not familiar with the Amsterdam acrylics so much. They're nice colors, uh, a little bit less pricey than uh, some of the um, other kind of paints that we're using, like Golden Open. And uh, so this should transfer really well. I did it yesterday and I had no problem. Um, famous last words. So brayering out our blue. Again, be mindful of not too thin a layer, but not too thick either. And brayering off later. And we just place our sheet, lining it up. And Get good contact. Don't take too long at this. Less than a minute. And if we're lucky, this will print. Once you start taking it off, you got to go all the way. Now there's not a lot of print there, but there's a little bit. It's okay. This is a subtle 
so you can see some of the writing. It should be good. Okay, so brayering off again. We need to let that dry. So I've added some clear gesso to our previous color, rolling it out. Now we're going to try and get this blue type off onto the sheet as our base sheet. Okay. a little bit more. Because the gesso is clear, uh, we're going to have to worry a little bit about the surface and how much paint we're going to put on. Again, just enough to activate that lower layer and it'll tone the cat a little bit rather than just white paper. Okay, let's get that printed. Don't know how. Oh, it did pick up quite a bit of the type. Good. Okay. We just want it as a background. And that's quite effective. Could have printed a little bit more there. But I can't go back because then that lifts back onto the plate. So you have to be careful. But we can crop that. That's not a problem. All right. So clean your plate once more. And then go to the black layer. Okay, so now we're transferring the cat picture. I have, again, run it through the photocopier, or not photocopier, why do I keep saying that, the laser printer, twice. And here's our kitty. Yeah, should we picture that one? Kitty with attitude. <laughs> And again, now we're going to live dangerous here and print right away and see if it comes up. Oops, tape. Maybe it'll even pick up some of the stuff that uh, we didn't get on that first printing. All the excitement, just too much for me. Yes, we have some type. We have the cat that transferred pretty well. Now, if you want, you can touch up, say, things like the eyes and that kind of thing. It looks a bit like an antique photograph, so I rather like it. So there's our cat with attitude. So at this point, um, you can either leave it or work some more into it with other media, like colored pencils, uh, Posca pens, all sorts of stuff. And uh, you can read some of the type. That's awesome. And I will be posting the actual write-up about how to take care of feral cats. So, well, it's a good session. <laughs> we had our moments. But um, there we are. So it, these transfers do work better with the double printing and uh, keep it subtle, keep it nice, and have fun with it. So we'll catch you another time here at Sherline Studio. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. Be good to yourself. Have lots of fun doing art. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye for now.